A nephilometer is an instrument for measuring concentration of suspended particulates in a liquid or gas colloid. A nephilometer measures suspended particulates by employing a light beam and a light detector set to one side of the source beam. Particle density is then a function of the light reflected into the detector from the particles. To some extent, how much light reflects for a given density of particles is dependent upon properties of the particles such as their shape, color, and reflectivity. Nephilometers are calibrated to a known particulate, then use environmental factors to compensate lighter or darker color dusts accordingly. K factor is determined by the user by running the nephilometer next to an air sampling pump and comparing results. There is a wide variety of research grade nephilometers on the market as well as open source varieties. Nephilometer users The main uses of nephilometers relate to air quality measurement for pollution monitoring, climate monitoring, and visibility. Airborne particles are commonly either biological contaminants, particulate contaminants, gaseous contaminants, or dust. The chart to the left shows the types and sizes of various particulate contaminants. This information is helpful toward understanding the character of particulate pollution inside a building or in the ambient air. It is also useful for understanding the cleanliness level in a controlled environment. Biological contaminants include mold, fungus, bacteria, viruses, animal dander, dust mites, pollen, human skin cells, cockroach parts, or anything alive or living at one time. They are the biggest enemy of indoor air quality specialists because they are contaminants that cause health problems. Levels of biological contamination depend on humidity and temperature that supports the livelihood of microorganisms. The presence of pets, plants, rodents, and insects will raise the level of biological contamination. Equals sheath air equals, sheath air is clean filtered air that surrounds the aerosol stream to prevent particulates from circulating or depositing within the optic chamber. Sheath air prevents contamination caused by buildup and deposits, improves response time by containing the sample, and improves maintenance by keeping the optic chamber clean. The nephilometer creates the sheath air by passing air through a zero filter before beginning the sample. Equals global radiation balance equals. Nephilometers are also used in global warming studies, specifically measuring the global radiation balance. Three wavelength nephilometers fitted with a backscatter shutter can determine the amount of solar radiation that is reflected back into space through dust and particulate matter. This reflected light influences the amount of radiation reaching the Earth's lower atmosphere and warming the planet. A simple demonstration of this is found in www.aurora-nephilometer.com as seen below. Equals visibility equals, nephilometers are also used for measurement of visibility with simple one-wavelength nephilometers used throughout the world by many EPAs. Nephilometers, through the measurement of light scattering, can determine visibility and distance through the application of a conversion factor called Koshmda's formula. Equals medicine equals. In medicine, nephilometry is used to measure immune function. Equals fire suppression equals. Gas phase nephilometers are also used in the detection of smoke and other particles of combustion. In such use, the apparatus is referred to as an aspirated smoke detector. These have the capability to detect extremely low particle concentrations and are therefore highly suitable to protecting sensitive or valuable electronic equipment, such as mainframe computers and telephone switches. Turbidity units Because optical properties depend on suspended particle size, a stable synthetic material called formazine with uniform particle size is often used as a standard for calibration and reproducibility. The unit is called formazine turbidity unit. Nephilometric turbidity unit specified by United States Environmental Protection Agency is a special case of FTU, where a white light source and certain geometrical properties of the measurement apparatus are specified. Formazine nephilometric units, prescribed for nine measurements of turbidity in water treatment by ISO 7027, Another special case of FTU with near infrared light and 90 a degree scatter. Formazine attenuation units specified by ISO 7027 for water treatment standards for turbidity measurements at zero a degree, 
also a special case of FTU. Formazine backscatter units, not part of a standard, is the unit of optical backscatter detectors, measured at C. 180 a degree, also a special case of FTU. European Brewery Convention turbidity units, concentration units, optical density, Jackson Candle turbidity units, Helms units, American Society of Brewing Chemists turbidity units, parts per million of standard substance, such as PPMDE, Tra 1 quarter Bungs Einheit Formazine a German standard, now replaced by the FNU unit, Diatomaceous Earth an older standard, now obsolete. A more popular term for this instrument in water quality testing is a turbidimeter. However, there can be differences between models of turbidimeters, depending upon the arrangement of the source beam and the detector. An avilometric turbidimeter always monitors light reflected off the particles and not attenuation due to cloudiness. In the United States environmental monitoring the turbidity standard unit is called nephilometric turbidity units, while the international standard unit is called formazine nephilometric unit. The most generally applicable unit is formazine turbidity unit, although different measurement methods can give quite different values as reported in FTU. Gas phase nephilometers are also used to study the atmosphere. These can provide information on visibility and atmospheric albedo. See also, ISO 7027, Water Purification. Notes